So here we go, let's do an orthographic projection. This is literally just taking a shape that is in, they'll give to you in 3D and then trying to draw what do the individual reflections of it look like. So if we're, they're basically saying like, here's a 3D drawing and then we want to look at like that side in isolation and then the top in isolation and then we've got, we've got to work out the different views. So the first thing to do is to, we've got to work out where the different views are coming from. So we'll start with the bottom left one. They all, we always start with um, the bottom left in orthographic drawing because then we project out that way and then we project up that way. So this is the front face, so we know that that's set. So I'm going to put F for front on there. Now, from the front view, imagine we're standing facing this shape that in that orientation. The top view, I think we can safely assume, is the one that is on the top there and it, with orthographics like this when you're when you're starting at the origin this point here whenever it's like it rolls up the side of a bath or up the side of a bowl so the part rolls up and then you see it from the top and we can see that because then you can see this cut out this cut out in isolation there so let's look at this first this is basically fill in the missing gaps so a, and a good way to go about this is to just look at the lines that we've got and see well okay there's some gaps here we've got to figure out what to do so we've got this gap here where is that on the drawing? So we've got the cutout, first of all. So let's find the cutout on the 3D view. There we are. Okay, so the cutout finishes there, and then we've just got another line. So I think we can safely assume that we can simply draw a straight line with a ruler down there. Okay, so we've done that. We've got another gap to the left, so we can go down here, and then, oh, lo and behold, we have a radius. So we need to just join that up as best as we can with a radius, and to be honest, it doesn't need to be bang on as long as you show that it's curved instead of being sharp. That's fine. Now that is everything on there because then we've got all those edges. Oops, we've got all those edges all done, done and dusted. The dotted lines here are just what what the hidden lines are. So it's, it'd be like seeing that edge underneath, and also the sort of the um, the hole in three D as well as like what that would look like from the top. So then this line here is called a center line. And then the center line um, actually technically would carry on down all the way to the bottom because, oh, I didn't do that very straight, did I? Let's try again. So the center line needs to carry on down to the front view because then it shows that that circle lines up with those lines there. All right, the front view, I don't think we have to change anything on here. At least I don't think we do. Let's just delete that center line I just drew. Um, oh, sorry, front view, yes, um, they, sorry, they do want the center line there, so we just put that in there to show that that's a circle. Okay, let's move to the next view. This one is on the right-hand side of the front view, because we go from the front, and then we're going to go to the right here. The good thing with, with projection drawings is that everything's meant to line up, so we're missing, what it's basically saying is, we are missing the hidden lines for the circles. So if I draw across a straight line from the top and bottom, you can see they've given us the bottom one already. So all we need to do is just do a dotted line there. Now, the other thing that they haven't shown is we, it, because this is the right view, looking at it from the front here, we go to the right and round the side. Then we're looking at it from the right hand side. So what we are trying to visualize here is like this little edge here is actually gonna be the front of that one there. Then there's gonna be a gap, and then we've gotta do the front of the other bit there. So literally all we need to do is just draw another line, and that's it. And then that's your um, projection drawing. 